talking to the family, they realized, you know, when this was starting to unfold, that there was a really good possibility that this was their loved one. After searching for answers, a family finally has at least one. Now a nearly 16-year-old cold case is heating up. Good evening, I'm Brandon Morano. And I'm Karina Rubio. The Sangamon County Coroner confirmed the skeletal remains found in a Springfield home belonged to Michelle Bianco. She went missing more than a decade ago. Our Capitol Bureau Chief Cole Hankey is live in our Capitol Newsroom. Cole, what can you tell us about this case? Well, Sangamon County Sheriff Jack Campbell confirmed to me today that the the house that they found these remains in was the same house that Bianco was last seen by in 2008. It was the first tip they had gotten on the case in over a decade. Sangamon County Sheriff's deputies showed up at this house on South Grand Avenue East and Wheeler. The homeowner found a purse with an ID belonging to Michelle Bianco in a crawl space while remodeling. He was familiar with her and, and the background behind her, and he contacted the Springfield Police Department, who knew we had an open missing person case on her. And Deputies searched the home and found skeletal remains. Today, Sangamon County Coroner Jim Allman confirmed they belonged to Bianco. I can say we identified her scientifically, and a lot of times with the scientific identification, we can utilize fingerprints uh, if there's soft tissue available. In situations where there's not, uh, dental x-ray, surgical hardware uh, left in somebody, those are ways that we can identify somebody. Bianca was last seen on April 5th, 2008. Campbell confirmed reports from the time that her cousin was the last one who saw her outside of the South Grand home. So back in 2008, that's the last place that we left off the investigation. Bianco's family searched for her for years. At one point, they were offering a $10,000 reward for any information about her whereabouts. But Tuesday, they got at least one answer. We were um, able to identify uh, their loved one and let them know that it was in fact their loved one. But at the same time, it's, it, it is confirmation you know, with them that she's gone. The Sangamon County Sheriff will continue to lead the investigation. They brought in a team of experts to try and learn the cause of death. And whether or not we ever get there or not, we're not sure. So now we'll begin interviewing people again, uh, probably re-interviewing people in the past that were interviewed, and, and see if there's something else they remember, see if there's other you know, uh, tidbits of information we can gather from them. Right now, Sheriff Campbell told me this is being considered a death investigation, but because they do not know the cause of death yet, they are keeping a lot of the other details around this investigation right now pretty quiet.